Good evening, everybody. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Thank you. Great. I had some trouble <clears throat> coming to the class. So sorry about that. I'm a little late. So I'm sorry. Don't worry. Thank you. So how have you been? How was your day? Good, teacher. And you, Dave? Was a bit busy and kind of crazy, but I'm here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And but I'm good. Yes, everything's fine. Ah, okay. Did it resolve? Nice. Okay, how are you today, Carlos? <clears throat> oh, good. Good day, teacher. All right, that's nice. And you? And I'm great, thanks. Okay. That's fine, okay. And how about Selena? How are you, Selena? Very well, teacher. Nice, how was your day? Um, very good. Okay, that's great. And let's see, Jonathan. How are you, Jonathan? Hello, teacher. How are uh, I'm fine. And you? Very good. I'm okay. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. Okay, nice. Claudia, how are you? Hi, how are you? Very good. Excellent. I'm doing well, thanks. Francisco Cruz, how are you? So Francisco, I see your microphone on, but I cannot hear you. Okay, maybe he's having trouble with the microphone or something. Tamara, good evening, how are you? Hi, I'm uh, fine. Well, so far so good. <laughs> okay, nice. I'm glad to hear you. Flor Corrado, how are you, Flor? Hello, how are you? Hi. Es que, mi, es que mi señal de, de Wi-Fi ahorita no es muy buena, entonces a veces no, les, no escucho lo que están diciendo, entonces por eso es que no. Ok. No en eco el All right, don't worry. Welcome to the class. Ok, so we are going to start right now. Um, let me just start by sharing my screen once again. And tell me, um, have you been working in the platform? Yes. Yes. Have you found any, any exercise that you found difficult or anything, any doubts that you have? Now you can tell me, si tenemos alguna duda, si encontramos algún ejercicio en el que necesitamos reforzar, podemos tomarnos unos minutos para, para hablar de ello. Do we have any questions, any doubts? Maybe not. Okay, nice. So we are going to start by I think you're seeing my screen now, right? Oh. Okay. So again, welcome everybody. And we're going to start by working in some small groups today. We are going to talk a little bit about important dates in USA. 
So here I have some questions for you to answer. We have when is Halloween, when is Independence Day, when is Valentine's Day, when is Christmas, and when is Thanksgiving. I am going to send you to breakout rooms and you are going to discuss the questions. You are going to answer them. And if you have any doubts about any of the dates, you can Google, okay? Use your cell phone and get to Google so you can get the date. Remember, you have to answer the questions. For example, when is Halloween? Do you know the answer? Maybe Halloween is in... Christy Fields. Exactly, October Halloween. Exactly. Halloween is on October. 31st. 31st. Right? Very good. So that's what you have to do. I am going to send you to the small groups right now. Let's see, we got 14 participants. We're going to make pairs. Okay, so please accept the invitation. Okay, please click on join or accept and discuss about the questions. Answer the questions, please. How are you doing, girls? Have you answered any of the questions? Estamos ahorita este viendo eh, las preguntas porque por ejemplo no las no las teníamos. Okay, so the first one is when is Halloween? Then we have when is Independence Day? Then when is Valentine's Day? Next one is Christmas and then we have Thanksgiving. When we have Thanksgiving. Okay. Entonces, vamos a iniciar con When is Halloween? Eh, is, is Halloween? Hello. How is it going? Hi, Selena and Ed Nilsson. How are you doing? Teacher. Hi. Mi compañero no responde. Ah, okay. So. Es que le hablaba y no me respondía. Yeah, maybe the connection is not so good, but probably now he's coming to the to the breakout room. So try writing maybe, chatting. Tal vez podemos intentar usar el chat. A lo mejor se le hace más fácil a Eden Nilsson. Ah, ok, teacher. Este, teacher, y las preguntas, mire, no las capturé. Oh, I already sent a picture to WhatsApp group. 
Ah, ok, gracias. Ok, you're welcome. Ok. Edenilson, no. me escucha. Estoy yo, mira. Edenilson, hola. New Year's Day is on January 1st. En el caso de Valentine Day sería Valentine Day is on February 4th. 14th. 14th. Sí. Great. And remember, we pronounce it as Valentine's. Okay? Valen Valentine's Day. Valentine's Days. Good. En el caso del Independence Day, sería Independence Day is on July 4th. Independence Day is on July 4th, exactly. July 1st. Sí, sería solo de ir eh, completando las oraciones, ¿verdad, teacher? Exactly. Así como lo hemos visto en días. El... Solo de agregar el in o el o, ¿verdad? Exactly. Sí, you el... just make a sentence. En el caso de Thanksgiving, Um, uh -huh. Para hacer oración completa sería Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is. is. Ahí ya no llevaría el on, ¿verdad? Yes, you use no, on ya. still. ¿Cómo siempre. no? Si se utiliza siempre. En ese caso sí. Porque vamos a decir the fourth Thursday of November. It is, right? Entonces siempre irían eh, las preposiciones. Yes, you use them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we are going to be back in just a minute. Please try to, to grab okay. up. Okay. Uh, when is Christmas? Christmas Day is on. Ay, se me olvida cómo decir 31. 31st. Uh, 31st. Uh -huh. yes. Pero Christmas sería... Ah, 25. 25, ajá. Uh -huh. entonces. Sí, ¿verdad? Ay, gran ruido. 25th, exactly. So you say Christmas is on December 25th. Okay. Uh, when is Thanksgiving? Okay, your classmate is gone, but... Okay, so we are back. So let's check. First of all, tell me when is Halloween, Claudia? Claudia? Mm -hmm. When is in the Halloween? Exactly. Is October, uh -huh. October 31st. Very good. Halloween is on October 31st. Let's see, Mejia, when is Independence Day in the USA? In El Salvador. In the USA. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. So how about Gerardo? Do you know when is Independence Day in the USA? Independence, Independence Day is on July 4th. July 4th. Very good. Next one, Alexander. When is Valentine's Day in the US? 
Valentine's Day is February February 14. 14th. Very good. 14th. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. And how about Christmas, Veronica Aldana? Uh, Chris, uh, Christmas is on uh, December. December. December uh, 24. 24th or 25th? Remember 25th. that 24th is Christmas Eve, then Christmas is on the 25th. Okay, very good, Veronica. Thank you. Now let's see, Tamara. Tell me, when is Thanksgiving? Uh, Thanksgiving is uh, fourth Thursday in November. Exactly. It's on the fourth Thursday in November. Excellent, everybody. So now let's talk a little bit about be going to in yes no questions. So the first thing that we need to know is that it, the questions start with the verb be. As in the following example, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Todas las preguntas de yes, no, inician con el verb be en sus formas am, is, or are. Por ejemplo acá, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Y si se fija con lo que jugamos es con los primeros dos elementos que son el verb be y el sujeto. Ahí cambiamos el orden. En lugar de iniciar con el sujeto, vamos a iniciar con el verb be y el sujeto pasa a ser el segundo elemento. Lo demás se mantiene. Going to have an exam tomorrow. Se mantiene en el mismo orden. And then the answers could be yes, I am or no, I am not. Here I have another example. Help me to read it, please. In Edenilson. Edenilson, can you help me to read, please? Okay, how about Janet? Hi. Can you help me to read the second example, please? Okay. Are they going to invite their best friends to the party? Thank you. So the answers could be yes, they are, or no, they aren't. And our next example, Jonathan Barillas. Hello. Can you read, please? Is Lisa going to house a food for lunch? Exactly. Is yes, Lisa going to have? Is. Continue. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, she is or no, she isn't. All right. Thank you. So we have, is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. Se fija, todos inician con el verb be, luego va el sujeto. Y la, la otra parte de la oración se mantiene. Luego las respuestas van variando dependiendo del sujeto del que estemos hablando. Are you? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Or are they? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is Lisa? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Ahí vamos cambiando dependiendo de la persona de la que estemos hablando. Y luego recordar siempre que cuando digo yes... La respuesta es en afirmativo, I am. Cuando digo no, I am not. De igual I forma am. con los otros sujetos, ¿verdad? No sé si estamos claros o tenemos alguna consulta en cuanto a esto. It's all fine. It's all okay. fine. Very good. So now let's talk about the long answers. Here we have some examples of the short answers, but we can also answer by using the long answer. So we have, are you going to have an exam tomorrow? Yes, I am going to have an exam tomorrow. Puedo responder de ambas formas. Con una corta que sería como, yes, I am, 
O puedo decir la oración completa y es, I am going to have an exam tomorrow. Or in the negative, no, I am not going to have an exam tomorrow. A ver, intentemos con la segunda, Carlos. The affirmative long answer, please. Are they going to invite their best friends to the party? No, they aren't. No, they aren't going to invite their best friends to the party. Very good. Selena, tell me the affirmative answer, yes? Answer. Yes. Okay. Yes, I need you to tell me the they, long answer for yes. In the second question, are they going to invite their best friends to the party? Yes. Uh, yes, they are. They are going oh, to, no, are. la completamos con la long answer. Ah, uh, yes, they are going to invite their best friend to the party. Excellent. Very good. Next oh. one. Sí, así, el negativo ya nos lo dijo Carlos. Thank you, Selena. So, very good. Alexander, is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? Sorry, Alexander. Yes, yes, she is going to have seafood for lunch. Very good. And the negative answer, Janet? So is... No, she isn't. Um, so again... I lo repeat otra vez. <laughs> only then, okay, sure. So uh -huh. I'm asking... Is Lisa going to have seafood for lunch? Y me dice la respuesta larga utilizando el negativo. No, she okay. isn't. Uh, she she have she, no she have um, spaghetti. Okay, <laughs> you can know. also. Yes, you can also answer in that way. No, she's having a spaghetti or she is going to have spaghetti. Very good. Esa es otra de las opciones que es rectificar, ¿verdad? O dar la información correcta. No, no va a comer esto, pero va a comer esta otra cosa. That's a good answer. Thank you, Janet. Okay, so now we are going to practice by making some more questions. So here, I'm going to select two people, one for asking and the other one for answering. And it goes like this, for example, Gerardo, are you going to watch a TV program? Yes, I am gonna watch a TV program. Very good. So now Gerardo, you ask Jonathan. With the second one, read a book. La pregunta, ¿cómo sería? Para are you going? Are, are you, you going? Uh -huh. Are you going uh -huh. to? Ya, ya le ayudé. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alexander, are you going to read a book? Yes, I am read a book every one. Every day. Okay, so in that case, you say, I read a book every day, okay? En el caso como es un hábito, utilizamos el simple present. Como es algo que hacemos todos los días, every day, I read a book every day. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, very good. Next one, Alexander, make a question to Tamara. Tamara, yes. are you, are you how, are, are you going, are you going to have beans for dinner? Uh, what is it, beans? Beans, frijoles. Yes, I'm sorry. Frijoles. Ah, yes, I am. 
Okay. I, like a good Salvadorian, yeah. right? <laughs> yes, I love me. Yeah, me too. Okay, Tamara, can you ask Carlos now? Okay. Uh, Carlos, uh, you play basketball. Uh, perdón, I'm sorry. Okay, don't you worry. You're going to play a basketball on the weekend? No, I am not playing basketball on the weekend. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Carlos, you ask Gabriela Mejia. Okay. Uh, are she are she going to the beach? I, are, are you to, Carlos, you ask her, are you going to are you, are, are you going to the beach? Um a quien me dijo, teacher? No, to Gabriela. 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 No, I am not. Okay, very good. Gabriela, it's your turn to ask a question to Claudia. Are you going? Are, are you going to eat pupusas on Sunday? Yes. Claudia? Yes. I am. Yes. I am. Very good, Claudia. Claudia, it's your turn to make a question to Veronica. Are you visit your family soon? Are you going to repeat, please? Are, are you going to visit for visit your family soon? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, yes, I am visit your family soon. Okay, so Veronica, you say, yes, I am going to visit my family. Como le está preguntando de su my familia, family. dice, sí, voy a visitar mi familia, right? My family. Okay. All okay. right, so Veronica, now you ask, let's see who's missing, Flor Corado. Oh, okay. Uh, are, are, you, are you going to practice English in the platform? Flor. Flor. Veo que enciende el micrófono, pero no la escuchamos. No sé si me escuchan. Oh, now we can hear you. Ahora sí. Yes. Yes. English in the platform. Excellent. So yes, I'm going to practice English in the platform. Very good. All right, so let's talk a little bit about today's lesson objective. So by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Ahora vamos a hablar un poquito de las, del be going to utilizado en preguntas WH o information questions que se, que se llaman también. Eh, son las preguntas que van con what, where, why, when, how, and some others. So we are going to start by practicing the conversation that we have in the platform. Let me, let me share it with you. Can you hear that? Can you listen to the video? No. Maybe not. Okay. All right, let me just get the sound. Learn how to ask. Now you can hear it? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, so let's listen to the conversation and then we are going to have a chance to practice it. And answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled 
Have a good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's. Okay, very good. So you have? Do you have any questions about the pronunciation of any words, or maybe a new word that you see in the conversation? Alguna pregunta con respecto a la pronunciación o alguna nueva palabra, el vocabulario? No. No questions. No questions. Okay, so now I'm going to select some people to practice the conversation. So let's see, um, do we have any volunteers? First of all, volunteers to read. And that is who, Janet? Yes, okay. but let me a second, I share the this topic. Sorry, can you repeat that, please? Eh, voy a buscar el, el, el tema oh, okay. porque se ve algo sure. empañado. Mm -hmm. ah. It's blurry, exactly. Sí. No, no, no views, no views video, uh, teacher. No se ve bien, se ve borroso. Okay. Can you get it in your platform, maybe in your cell phone or something? If Yo that is possible. Plataforma ahorita. Okay, great. Buscándolo, ando. Ahorita. All right. Allá lo tengo. No It's, sé quién más. Okay, who's going to help Janet? Who's going to read too? Do we have any volunteer? Carlos, can you help her? Yes, teacher, pero no lo veo. Solo que lo tendría que buscar en Okay. Voy a mandar al grupo si quieren. All right, please, Janet. Teacher, lo tengo yo. Okay, go ahead, please. Ahorita. Okay. So, Janet, you start. Okay. Eh. Bueno. Bueno. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Um, that is the other conversation. Eh. Janet, estamos eh. en la conversación 3.10. WH oh, okay. questions. Estoy bien yo entonces, Teach. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Esta de Mona and Tyler. Exactly. 3.3. 3.10. Ah, okay. Forget me. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. 3.10. Forget me. Quiero ver. The second. Okay. So, Janet. Uh, Get it, and meanwhile, I'm going to read it together with, who's that, Jonathan. Okay. okay. La busca Carlos y Janet, y se preparan para leerla luego, okay? So, okay, all right, so let's read, Jonathan. Okay. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my friend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas, it's her favorite favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. So let's see, Carlos and Janet, are you ready? No, teacher. Not yet? Mm. Yeah, teacher. Okay, so Janet, I'm going to read it with you. You can start. Okay. 
So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you. You too. Okay, ready, nice. teacher. Ready, Carlos? Teacher ready. Okay, very good. Yeah. Is there anybody who got the conversation? No sé si tengo alguien más que haya abierto la conversación para que lea con Carlos. Yo la tengo, teacher. Okay, so Gerardo, help me, please. Carlos so, and Gerardo. Go ahead. So, so Tyler. Are you gonna do anything special for Valentine's Day? Oh, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Ahorita, ahorita. Ahorita. Okay, don't worry. Uh, yeah, ahorita. Uh -huh. Yeah, I am going to, to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? Leona, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant, but I am gonna go to a dance. Sound like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Very good, guys. Thank you. So now, please, everybody, repeat anything. Repeat, please, anything. 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 Special. 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 Okay, tratemos de pronunciar sin la e al inicio. Es como un sonido de s nada más. Special. 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 Very good. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Girlfriend. 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 Dinner. 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 So let's continue by checking the structure for WH questions. So here, first of all, we use the WH word. Aquí vamos a iniciar nuestra pregunta con la WH word, que puede ser what, where, when, what others. ¿Cuáles son las otras? How, who, 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 who which, exactly. What, what. When, what, what and when. Mm -hmm. when. Uh -huh. Nice. So after Where? the WH word, we add the verb be, am, um, is, or are. Then we are going to have a subject, then the going to the verb and the complement. And something really important in questions is also to add the question mark. Recordemos okay. siempre que para marcar la pregunta necesitamos también el signo de interrogación, okay? The question mark. So here I have yes. some examples. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Who are you going to invite to the party? Who are you going to invite to the party? Also, when are you going to travel to Spain? When are you going to travel to Spain? 
And why are you going to buy so much food? So now let's try to answer them. Vamos a intentar darles respuesta. Eh, inventa la respuesta. Voy a ir preguntando a algunas personas. Inventa la respuesta. Let's see. Let's try it. Jonathan, where are you going to go? Uh, <laughs> I am go I am going to go my work. I am going to my work. Okay, I'm going to go to my work. Very good, Jonathan. Thanks. Veronica, what are you going to do? I am a Going. I am going to uh -huh. I am going to go uh, in the house. I am going to what are you going to do? ¿Qué va a hacer? So That's mention wrong. an activity. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I am going to uh, exercise uh, um, learn to learn Learn uh, the book. Leer. Oh, to read. Read. Read the book. Okay. Read the book. Very good. Next one, Selena. Who are you going to invite to the party? I am going to invite to the party with my brothers. Okay, so you say, I'm going to invite my brothers to the party, Selena. I am going to invite my brothers to the party. Uh, I am going to invite to the party mm -hmm. with my brothers. My brothers. Okay, very my good. My brothers are ah, seeing which. Exactly. The oh, no. I'm going to invite my brothers to the party. El to the party lo movemos hasta el final. Ah, so we okay. say, I'm going to invite my friends to the party. I'm going to invite you to the party, for, for example. Okay. okay. Right. Very good, Selena. Thanks. Next one. Let's see. Claudia. Claudia, when are you going to travel to Spain? I am going to Spain dictionary. Travel? Uh -huh. Travel. Dictionary to Spanish. Sorry, can you repeat that, please, Claudia? I am. Mm -hmm. I am going to uh, to travel dictionary um, Spanish. Okay, so you say I'm going to travel to Spain in January, for example. Yes. All right, excellent, Claudia. Thank you for participating. And the last one, let's see, Carlos, why are you going to buy so much food? I am going to buy, buy um, and chicken and um, um, beef and um, no sé cómo se tocino, se me olvidado. Bacon? Bacon, food. Okay, so tell me why. I'm going to buy all of this food because. Ahí tenemos que dar una razón. ¿Por qué va a comprar tanta comida? Uh, uh, <laughs> I like, I like mul, I like mul, mul. Okay. okay. Very good. So probably here some answers, some other options could be like because I'm going to have a party, for instance, or because I'm going to share with my friends or with my family or because I am so hungry, right? <laughs> okay, thank oh, you for participating. Like <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, so there we have some of the, of the examples on how to use WH questions. 
And now we are going to solve an exercise in the platform. Vamos a resolver el ejercicio 1.11 en la plataforma, que eh, bueno ha sido uno de los ejercicios que, que han estado consultando. Hay varios, entonces creo que nos vendría bien resolverlo todos juntos. So here we have it, the first knowledge check. Instructions, complete the, converse, the conversations with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example. Acá tenemos el ejemplo. Si me ayuda a leerlo, Claudia, please. Teacher, no se ve. No se ve. Está borroso. Ok, so. Teacher, y si, lo hace, y si lo hace más pequeño, teacher, para que se, tal vez se logra ver. Porque más... esto, oh, esto ya aparece un cuadro en su pantalla, un cuadro uh, negro, no sé por qué. En serio. No sé, sí, porque claro, a mí no me, sí, sí. sí, porque a mí no me aparece, no sé qué pasará. A ver, ahora, no sé cómo lo ven. No se ve, no se ve. No se identifica. Ok, let me try again. Vamos a ver. Oh, ahorita ya no aparece el cuadro en su pantalla. Ajá, ahora dejé de compartir y volví a compartir, no sé si... Ahora lo pueden pero, ver. Ahora, ahora, ahora sí se ve, ya no está el cuadro, pero se ve borroso. Really? Nada, no sé. yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to share the exercise in the, in the WhatsApp group so we can all have it. Okay. Okay. Let's see, okay, let me just get a picture. So, okay. My cell phone is not helping me now. <laughs> okay, goodness. No worry, teacher. <laughs> okay, now I can get it. Okay, so there we have it. If you have access to your cell phone or maybe to another to another tab, you can see it. And we're going to solve it all together. So we have, first of all, the example. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? How are you going to spend your summer vacation? And then we have my parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Then we have the conversation number one. No sé si tengo un voluntario para que me diga number one B. Yo, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Exactly. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Entonces, ahí necesitamos agregar solo el going to invite. Ya no utilizamos el verb be porque ya lo tenemos acá. Who are? Solamente agregamos going to invite. Okay, next one, number one A. Who can help me with that one? Hi. Okay, go ahead, please. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. All right, nice. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Agregamos la respuesta, going to ask. Igual, acá tenemos ya el verb be and I'm. Conversation number two, who's going to help me with 2A? Good teacher. Go ahead, please. Uh, what are you going to do for Halloween? Okay, what are you going to do? Exactly, going to do for Halloween. Lo que agregamos como respuesta es going to do. Going to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number two B. Sure. Go ahead, please. I don't know. I I'm not mm. going to going to do 
anything special. Exactly. I am not going to do anything special. Not going to do es la parte que agregamos. Now let's move to conversation number three. Who's going to Teacher, help me with 3A? Tell me. Uh, going to do or mm -hmm. going to not do? Going to do. El not lo agregamos al inicio. Not going to do. Okay. Uh -huh. Recordemos que el not va después del verb be. Entonces, mm -hmm. en este caso, I'm not going to do. Exacto. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. All right, conversation number three. 3A. Anybody? Are parents going to celebrate? celebrate? What? Were your parents going to? Are your parents going to celebrate? Need you. Okay, thank you. So we say, how are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Lo que agregamos es going to celebrate. Okay, now 3B, please. They are, they are. Uh -huh. They are. We are going to go to their neighbor's party. Okay, so we say they're going to go to their neighbor's party. Very good, thank you. And now the last conversation, number four. Four A, anybody? What is your sister going to do? for her birthday. Very good. What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Agregamos para la respuesta, going to do. And the last one for B? Going to take. Going to take, exactly. Her boyfriend. Oh, going but here, take. but here we are missing another part of the sentence. What do we add? Her boyfriend. Going. How about the verb be? Acá si nos falta el verb be, uh, debemos agregarlo. He, he, he. he is. He going. He. he. Uh -huh. Exactly. Is going to take. En este caso, si sí necesito el verb be porque solo tengo el sujeto, her boyfriend. her boyfriend. So I say her boyfriend is going to take her out for dinner, for to dinner. So there we have it. All right. Um, do we have any questions sure. about this? Answer, answer her boyfriend. Sure. It is going to take. Is going to take. Is. 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 Is going to take. Is going. Exactly. Teacher, a mí me, rec me reconoció solo el going to. Her really? boyfriend going to take. A mí también. Going to take. Oh, okay. It shouldn't. No debería de estar así a menos que haya. Aquí sí sería un errorcito eso. Okay. Eh, voy a revisarlo más tardecito y yo les les digo ahí porque si lo reconoce como going to take es un error de la plataforma porque siempre necesitamos en esta estructura de be going to siempre necesitamos el verb be am is or are. Tiene que llevarlo siempre, okay. siempre, porque de hecho el going to no actúa directamente como verbo en esta estructura. Entonces nos quedaríamos sin, sin verbo, digámoslo así. Siempre lo necesitamos. ¿Ok? Am, is, or are siempre debe ir en una oración con going to. Oh, ok. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, de hecho, yo ahora, eh, como yo reservo la plataforma por mi teléfono, entonces ahora que me metí, como que estaban de error porque el, los videos me aparecían sin títulos en español. Uh -huh. Y quizás por eso a ellos les aceptó solo going to take. Sí, podría ser. Eh, sí, en un momento yo voy a revisar y les aviso ahí en el, en el chat. Okay, a a ver, porque, usted sí. le puso, porque usted le puso is going to take y uh -huh. le puso check. check verde. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. 
Okay, sí, teacher. esa es la respuesta okay. correcta. Realmente si sí, lo reconoce como le digo, solo el going to take es, una, es un error. Pero, en los demás uh -huh. sí lo reconoce nada más con el going to y el verbo porque ya tenemos el verb be. Si se fija, por ejemplo, en esta, what is your sister? Y luego agregamos no. going to do. Ya tenemos el is acá. Uh -huh. De igual forma en there, going to go. Ya tenemos el there en la forma contractada, pero lo tenemos ahí. Uh -huh. The same happens with how are your parents going to celebrate? How are? Acá tenemos el verb be, are. Y así todas, ¿verdad? Eh, no hemos agregado el verb be en todas porque en algunas ya lo tenemos. Okay. Pero en la última, en definitiva, lo necesitamos. Ok, teacher. Ok, any other questions? No more? No, no, All right. No question. So let me just ask you for a little favor. Let's take one or two minutes to make a question that we would like to ask to one of our classmates. Vamos todos a hacer una pregunta que queramos hacer a alguno de nuestros compañeros. You can write it maybe in your notebook or you can use your cell phone or anything. Just write your question. Escriba una pregunta que quisiera hacer a cualquiera de los miembros del grupo. It can be just whatever question you want to ask, like, what are you going to eat for dinner? Or are you going to go to a party? Are you going to go to the beach or anything? Puede ser yes, no question or WH question. Let me know when you have it. Remember to use going to in your questions, please. Recuerda utilizar el going to. What is going to work? What is what? ¿Aún no tenemos ninguna pregunta? ¿Mariat? Yo, teacher. Ok, Jonathan, tell me your question. Um, Gerardo, ¿puedo preguntarle? Yes, go ahead. Una fácil, Gerardo. Where are you going to travel in the vacation? I am going to travel in the vacation in El Tunco. <laughs> Eso. Oh, El Tunco. Sounds nice. It's a good plan. Gerardo, you, do you have a question now? Uh, Carlos, are you going to play video games tomorrow? Uh, I, am, I am not going to play video. Okay. Carlos, do you have a question for anybody? Um, uh, Tamara, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm going to, to take a class. Okay. okay. Very good. So thank you very much for participating in this class. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a good night.
Los que no han preguntado, todavía no tienen su pregunta, o si la tiene, guárdela para mañana. Vamos a hacerlas al inicio de la clase, ¿ok? Ok. Gracias, good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher.